Welcome back to the channel. The school-based assessment for Agriculture Science Single Award consists of an introduction and methodology, which are the main areas of focus in today's lesson. Let's get into the lesson. The introduction consists of two main parts, the problem statement and the aim. When constructing the problem statement, it must be clear with regards to the following. One, what crop or animal will be used? Two, where would the experiment take place? And three, what is the unknown or unidentified factor this experiment hopes to bring to light? Let's take a look at the problem statement as seen here. Sweet pepper is a crop commonly grown at the Prestige Community High School as a source of income. However, the most appropriate type of fertilizer for optimum growth and production of sweet peppers at the Prestige Community High School is unknown. Now, let's take a look at the aim. The aim can also be seen as the main objective. The aim is derived primarily from the problem statement and often begins with the words to determine. Let's take a look at the example. The aim. To determine the most appropriate type of fertilizer for optimum growth and production of sweet peppers. If the problem statement was to state the most appropriate feeding schedule for efficient weight gain among broiler birds has yet to be determined at Bridgetown Farm, the aim should sound like this. To determine the most appropriate feeding schedule for maximum efficiency with regards to weight gain in broiler production. Now, let's take a look at the methodology. The methodology consists of five main parts. One, the experimental design. Two, the list of materials and equipment used. Three, the description of activities. Four, pictures showing three different activities. And five, data collection. Let's take a look at the experimental design. This aspect of the SBA explains how the research is going to be conducted. It includes the number of plants or animals to be used in the experiment, the layout of the experiment, what parameters you set out to measure, how often will information be collected, and how you plan to utilize the information to achieve the main objective. Based on the SBA guidelines, we are required to measure two parameters. It is important to choose the right parameters in order to fulfill the objectives laid out in the aim. In our example, the aim is to determine the most appropriate type of fertilizer for optimum growth and production of sweet peppers. Therefore, the appropriate parameter we can measure is yield. The other parameters such as fruits, height of plant, and number of flowers can go along as parameter number two. Let's take a look at the methodology as seen here. An experiment consisting of 60 sweet pepper plants was established at the school farm. For this experiment, a total of six cambered beds were formed and separated in pairs according to their respective fertilizer treatment. For each treatment, a number of 20 plants were allocated. Plots one and two were treated 
with an organic fertilizer. Plot 3 and 4 were set as a control group. And plots 5 and 6 were treated with an inorganic fertilizer, having an NPK ratio of 16, 8, 24. Using a sample size of 10 plants per treatment, data consisting of the height and yield of sweet pepper plants will be collected relative to each treatment. The data compiled will be used to determine the most appropriate type of fertilizer treatment for sweet pepper plants. The next aspect that comes after experimental design is materials and equipment. This section is very simple. Simply list five materials and equipment used and state their uses as you see here. The next aspect that comes under the main heading methodology is the description of activities. According to the rubric, Students are required to adequately describe a minimum of five activities they were engaged in, in order to score full marks. The activities described should follow a chronological order. As seen in the example, I began with land preparation and ended with harvesting. To gain maximum marks, your description should also highlight briefly why activities were done a particular way to demonstrate an understanding of certain concepts. Next up is the fun part for most students, which is adding the pictures related to the different activities engaged in while conducting the experiment. This aspect of the SBA is quite simple. Students are required to insert a minimum of three pictures, each showing the students doing three different activities. Below each picture should have a text box simply stating the type of activity they are engaged in. So in this example, I have transplanting, fertilizer application, and harvesting. This brings us to the end of the lesson. Thanks for watching.